Today in this series of Doplex's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Ranabir Pal, Head of the Department Community Medicine at MGM Medical College and LSK Hospital, Bihar. He'll be giving us his insights on how to prevent injuries in the community. Thank you, sir, for the interview. Thank you for calling me for the interview. Dr. Pal, you have authored a paper developing trauma sciences and injury care in India. Could you please brief us about it? In fact, injury is a 100% uh, preventable medical problem. I am working on injury epidemiology and prevention of injury in community level for the last 20 years. What I felt that uh, even the medical community is much not aware about the problem. The most important problem I can see with the simple statistics. The total number of death due to tuberculosis, malaria and HIV is exactly half the death on road due to accident. But due to malaria there is a program for HIV there is a program for tuberculosis there is a program but there is no national program in India for injury control. And injury uh, there is no department of trauma and injury in majority of the medical colleges and trauma care is grossly neglected. So not only people are convinced about it is a preventable disease but also the care is also very limited. Hmm. So I thought I have need to, with my group, I am working on Indo-US Trauma Initiative, a collaborative effort from uh, doctors from India and ANI doctors from USA. We have made one uh, expert group mm. uh, under uh, Indo-US collaboration. We are working continuously for the last two decades to make our medical community aware on one hand and uh, make our policy members on the other hand and in the last October, thanks to the health minister, he agreed that he will start initially of okay, national program on injury. Dr. J.P. Nadda has agreed with us. So, we are getting a silver lining that we may be able to prevent this uh, uh, death, disability and the mor morbidity on road which is totally different. To right. So, can you tell us more? Elaborate more uh, upon the injury sciences in India. In fact, injury science is a uh, it's just just like a disease process. Just like you think, by chronic smoking, people get lung cancer, uh, bronchial asthma, and uh, COPD, etc. Simply, in head-ons, is a scientist who first told that accidents leads to a series of events that lead to the injury on road. So it exactly just like a microbe causes injuries, repeated accidents cause the injury. So we can make it a prevention, like primary prevention, secondary prevention, tertiary prevention. And it is a, uh, we have must be aware how to prevent it. Just to give you an example, having uh, the seat belt, using the seat belt or using the helmet, can prevent head injury to a large extent, but fully knowing well, people do not use it. Even after buying it, only fear of police or the legal issue, they use the helmet. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they are not conscious that the head is more important than mm -hmm. the giving fine to the police. Mm -hmm. In this way, people know many things, but people do not follow it by simple things. And is one hand, other hand, the automobile manufacturers also should be conscious to make the cars more safer. Not only in terms of providing some bags in the for safety, but also the cars should also make more safety arrangements should be there, like gloss signaling, automatic stopping of vehicle when it comes to closer to other things. This is the, number three, the, uh, the role of the political leaders and the policy makers should be there, the road should be made safer, more uh, hard so that sleep, there is less sleep of the car on the road. Similarly, turning will be less and the maximum two-way, two no face-to-face -face collision, etc. There are other things also there. Alcohol is one of the very important cause of 
accident. Alcohol commenters made many things within 500 meters of the highway that no alcohol show etc. But still it is not, not properly implemented. Similarly, uh, mobile phone has become menace. Mm -hmm. and, and mobile phone and other distractors using of all gadgets in, during driving is taking a huge toll of lives. Of the time, not only of drivers but also the bystanders and also the, uh, the, the, the persons who are inside the vehicle. So in this way, there are many uh, simple method of prevention of injuries there that you have to follow. So, um, so how, according to you, can common people save their lives? What are those measures that they can take in their everyday lives? It's a very important question that you raise the whole issue because ultimately it is a loser of the the common man is a loser because they uh, lose their body in, uh, due to injury and getting very really close. In fact, in India, I am working on uh, injury epidemic of the last two decades, I found majority of the accident occurs in the people who are in the working age group, between 30 to 50. So their loss of life or body is not only loss of their person, but many families are going to ruins due to economic loss, due to non-income. Non -income. So uh, people should be made aware from the school level. From the early school, primary school level, the students should be taught. Till the all levels of education, there should be a teaching how they can save their lives. And it is the education system that should be that should incorporate that injury prevention. Doctors can only do something, or healthcare providers can do something after injury happened. Mm -hmm. But before that, doctor has usually no role. So education department, the police department. And the all other welfare, social welfare department will make a joint effort to make the people's life safer. Doctors can do research and can do intervention after the accident occurred. Right. So, sir, according to you, uh, what role do online communities like Docplexes play uh, in preventing such injuries? I missed one very important point. In all other developing countries, they have an injury registry. Just like in our country, only one disease has registry, the cancer registry. All the cancer patients has to be registered in the registry and government gets a list which cancer is increasing, which is decreasing. Just like that's why we, our the our uh, co-researchers have made a uh, pilot registry, trauma registry and one with my neurosurgeon friends, I have started making a trauma, trauma, a traumatic brain injury registry. If we can in register all the injuries, then we can find which injury is more, which is less, which is caused by which, which what, what is to be done. So, till now, Government of India has no trauma registry. I am also part of ICMR in the method of, in the process of making one trauma registry. Mm -hmm. It is going on by, probably by the end of this year, ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, will start a trauma registry from where I am one of the uh, important research person. Number one. Number two, doplexes can do many things. But I was I told in the initial part, the doctors are also not much aware how many mortality, morbidity and disability going on due to accident and what can be done. In fact, uh, there are some basic things like A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D is the basic protocol of resuscitating a person even during injury. A means airway, B means bathing, C means circulation. Mm -hmm. B means evacuation, B means uh, distract, distracting the person from the site. So in this way, the, every doctor should know the primary resuscitation of a trauma person, number one. Number two, doctor should teach their patients how they can prevent. Right. So we have taken note of your suggestion. Thank you so much. It was an insightful discussion.